Have you ever followed a tutorial and were asked to find a file for your website but did not know how to find it? In this video, I am going to show you how you can find a file for your website. This is crucial whether you are troubleshooting your website or you're just curious about where everything lives. So let's get started. Whether you're using a hosting service like Bluehost or Hostinger, the process is pretty similar. Today, I will be using Hostinger. First thing you will do is log on to your hosting provider. Once you're logged in, scroll down to where your website is being hosted and click on the button where you can manage your website. Once you're there, scroll down until you see File Manager. If you don't see File Manager, it may be called File. Now click on File Manager and this will open up all of your files. Here we are in the File Manager. You can think of it as Windows Explorer if you are using Windows or the Finder if you're using Mac for your website. You may see a bunch of folders and files, but don't get overwhelmed. It's pretty simple. The most important folder for your website is public HTML. This is your root directory where all the files that make up your website are stored. So you can click on this and once you open the public HTML, you will see the HT axis, the index PHP, as well as the WP content folder if you're using WordPress. These are common files for websites. The index.php file is the first file that loads when someone visits your website. You can click on it and see all the details in the file. The HT axis file is for server configuration and the WP content folder contains your themes, plugins, and uploads if you are using WordPress. To edit a file, simply click on the file, scroll to the top, and you should see an icon that will allow you to edit the file. If you don't see that, you can just click on it and you will be able to edit the file. And once you're done, you can just click on save right here. Whenever you're editing a website, make sure you are careful because this can change your live website. If you need to upload a new folder or file, you can just click on new folder or new file, and that will allow you to upload a new file folder. And if you need to download a folder file, just right click on it, scroll down, and you should be able to download it. And that's how you navigate the file manager and find files for your website. Make sure that you back up your website before you make any changes to your files. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any other questions. We have also provided a link down below for Hostinger if you're interested in creating your own website. Remember to use our code MYFIRSTWEBSITE for a discount off. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.